Democrats are worried that the abortion issue won't be enough for a midterm win. We've got one pollster telling Politico, and I'm quoting now, the issue will help at the margins, but to hold the House or Senate, we need inflation to go away. Mike Huckabee, former governor of uh, Arkansas, joins us now. Governor, how much do you think this leak helps the Democrats in November? I don't think it helps them at all, uh, in part because uh, the issue of abortion is one where people have strong, passionate views. I'm passionately pro-life. There are people who are passionately pro-abortion. That's not going to change. So as much as the Democrats may think they're motivated to go because of a Supreme Court decision, pro-life people are equally motivated to go to protect human life and to believe that every life has intrinsic worth and value. And, and the big lie the Democrats keep telling, that Democrats will figure out when uh, and if this does in fact happen, the overturning of Roe v. Wade, it doesn't make abortion illegal. It doesn't end it. It simply gives it back to the states where it should have been all along. So this is a legal issue. It is not uh, the issue of abortion itself. And that's where the, the lie continues on the part of Democrats who act like that the world's going to come to an end. Some states do will have more abortions. Others mm -hmm. will have none at all. But if they want to have abortions, and here's what I would challenge them with. They say that the majority of people support abortion. If that's true, then in all of those states their elected representatives will vote to have abortions in those states. The fact that they are worried that they want is telling you that they really know that the majority of people don't support unrestricted abortion. Okay. The other issue here is President Biden ripping into Trump supporters, calling them an extreme political organization. I'm going to run this again because it's very important. Roll tape, please. What are the next things that are going to be attacked? because this MAGA crowd is really the most extreme political ex organization that's existed in American history, in recent American history. Extreme political organization. Honestly, Governor, that sounds divisive to me. Oh, no. No, Stu. You're, you're so wrong about that. This is the man who is going to heal America. He's going to bring us together. And he just did that by giving the big middle finger to half of the country and telling us what he really thought about us. I, I'm just amazed that uh, there were people who actually believed when Joe Biden said that he was going to be a uh, uniter and bring the country together. And that's what we get is a person who not just insults us, but who thinks that we're Looney Tune because we happen to believe that loving America, believing in secure borders, lowering taxes, protecting our troops overseas when they're put in harm's way. Uh, keeping regulations off of business and growing jobs, somehow that we're crazy to believe such things. Well, we're still crazy about those things and will be when we go vote in November, and it's going to be a real spanking to the people who took us for granted or held us in contempt.